Hey, uh, today we're going to be focusing on finding the derivatives of logarithmic functions, specifically the natural log functions. Okay, so let's start with the formula to find the derivative of the natural log logarithm. Say so we have to find the derivative of natural log of u. Now u is a function of x. In other words, u represents some x terms. So to get the derivative of natural log of u, first we get the derivative of that u divided by that same u, okay? So in other words, if we have to find the derivative of natural log of x, then first we have to get the derivative of x, which is 1, divided by that x. So the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. Now suppose we are uh, finding the derivative of natural log of 2x. Okay, so f prime of x is going to be, again, the formula for finding the derivative of natural log of u is equal to the u prime over u. So first we get the derivative of 2x, which is 2, that's the u prime, divided by u, which is that same 2x. Okay? And that is reduced to 1 over x. Okay, let's take this example. Say so we have this natural log of 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. So find the derivative, okay? So f prime is going to be the derivative of this expression here, which is 6x minus 4 over that same expression, 3x squared minus 4x plus 1. Okay? Um, I don't think we can still reduce it. So that's, that's your final answer right there. Okay. All right, so number four. How about if you have to get the, the natural log of sine x? So f prime of x is going to be the derivative of sine, sine x, which is cosine x, over that same sine x. Now, if you recall the trig identity for cosine x over sine x, that is just equivalent to cotangent x. All right, let's see another example. Find the derivative of natural log of square root of x, okay? Now, in my previous video, I gave you the shortcut to find the derivative of square root of x, okay? And the shortcut for that is you simply memorize it, of course. So we say 1 over 2 square root of x. Every time you go find the derivative of square root of x, a memorization, it's 1 over 2 square root of x. Of course, you can use the power rule, but it's going to be a tedious tedious uh, process, okay? Now, when you see a square root of x as part of this natural log expression, uh, you can still, you know, apply this uh, 1 over 2 square root of x as, as its derivative, but it's actually easier if you use the property of the logarithm. Now, one property of log, okay, just to brush up on the property of logarithm, one of the three properties says that if we have the logarithm of x raised to n, okay, so you see that exponent n, then we can just write that n out front times the logarithm of x, okay? In other words, if we have something like x here, this is equivalent to just write down the 3 out front times the logarithm of x, okay? So we're going to be using that 
then be before you apply the derivative. So for this, the best thing to do is you rewrite this radical form square root of x to rational exponent. Okay, so we are going to rewrite that square root of x as x raised to what? 1 over 2. Okay, and then we can use the property of the logarithm, see? Logarithm of x to the n is equivalent to n times the log x. So this is the same as 1 half, okay, times the natural log of x. So if I'm going to get the derivative now, it's just going to be what? 1 half times, 1 half is a constant. So we just bring it down times 1 over x which is 1 over 2x. Okay. So it's easier to just use the property of logarithm before you do the derivative of this natural log. Okay. Let's do another example. Say so given a natural log of, let's say, to the fourth root of x. So let's rewrite this again from the radical form, write the rational exponent form. See, that's the same as x raised to 1 fourth. Okay, now the property suggests that, you know, we can move this 1 fourth out front times natural log of x. Okay, then we can perform the differentiation. So this 140 is a constant. I can just bring it down and then get the derivative of natural log of x, which is 1, right? It's u prime, or the derivative of x is 1 over that same x. Okay, so there we go. The derivative is 1 over 4x. If you have to get the derivative of the natural log of the fifth root of x to the fourth. So what we do, again, so this is just like writing f of x is equal to na the natural log of uh, fifth root of x to the fourth. So to rewrite, it's the same as x raised to 4 fifths, you know, that rational exponent. And then use the property of the logarithm. So that exponent becomes the coefficient or multiplier of your natural log of x. So now it's easier to get the derivative. You just bring down the constant 4 fifths and then get the derivative of natural log of x, which is 1 over x. Okay, so we got this 4 over 5x. <clears throat> okay, now the last, last two examples. I want to give you some reminders. Uh, let's say you're getting the derivative of natural log of x to the 1 half. Okay, versus finding the derivative of natural log of x, everything raised to 1 half. Okay, on the first, first column here, this 1 half exponent applies to x only, okay? So that's the case where you can apply apply the property of logarithm okay so i'm gonna write down f of x so you can see the the steps better okay so to rewrite this using the property it's equivalent to one half natural log of x again the property of the logarithm suggests that 
if this exponent applies only to that base x, then that is equivalent to multiplying n and the logarithm of x. Okay? So this x here, the exponent is 1 half. So the 1 half only applies to x. Then you can go ahead and use the property. But if this exponent 1 half applies to the entire ln x, then we cannot use the property. Instead, we can use the chain rule, okay? So we have to use the chain rule because the base is not plain x, okay? It's not plain x, but instead we have the base ln x. So let's say, again, uh, this is everything raised to one half. So what we do is use the chain rule, which is the power rule with one extra step, okay? So we're gonna use the power rule first. So we multiply this number one times one half, which is one half, ln x. Now one half minus one or minus two over two, minus one in the form of two over two. So it's gonna be what? One half natural log of x raised to negative one half. Okay, so we have one thing to do. Because it's a chain rule, we have to do one more extra step, which is what? Multiply by the derivative of this base ln x, which is one over x. Okay. So you have to do one extra step. All right, so that is simplified to, so you can move this down here, okay? One over, Two. So this ln x raised to one half is now downstairs, which is the same as square root of ln x and times x. Okay. Or <clears throat> you can say one over two x square root of, square root of natural log of x. All right, so hopefully this helped. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again for the next part of this tutorial series. Thank you.